The extreme drought conditions that have persisted in southern Nevada had seriously threatened the health and well-being of the wild horses in the Wheeler Pass Joint Management Area near the community of Cold Creek, Nevada. The continued decline in body condition and lack of forage culminated in the immediate need for the humboldt Abbey National Forest to remove wild horses from the area and send about 126 to the BLM Ridgecrest Regional Wild Horse and Burrow Corrals for care and adoption. With the water and feed conditions getting bad, then uh, they had an emergency gather and they contacted this off-range facility to take the animals, and so we did. Seeing the animals coming in in the condition that they come off the range because they don't have food and water, they're very poor, they're very weak, and then seeing them blossom with good care and um, been helping people go through the experience of adopting a wild horse and developing the bond with a wild horse um, and just that connection, uh, that first touch is golden. <laughs> We're closing in on two or three months now that they've been here and we allowed them a good long time to, to recover and uh, all the animals have jumped up. You know, we had twos and threes when they were coming in. There was a few fours, but now on the, on the level that they, these horses have all come up to like a high threes, most of them are fours, fives, you know, and above. And we've got some good healthy baby pairs on the ground. You know, we've had at least two births since uh, they got here. Um, and right now we've got 114 of the animals that came in out of, I think it was 125, 126 that actually got over here that are ready to go. And then we have some pairs that are under three months of age on the babies and they're not quite ready yet. But everybody else has uh, achieved the level that they can be put up for adoption. So we just happened to open it all up this weekend, August 11th, so that everybody has a fair chance and an equal chance to come and adopt maybe one of the horses that was in their backyard or one that they've seen online, you know, and um, we're pretty proud of the fact that they got back up in this condition, you know, it just, you know, we care quite a little bit about the animals that come into this facility and, you know, I think this is a pretty good testament to that. The quality and the, the friendship that you develop, the relationship that you develop with the wild horses is totally different than with a domestic horse. I've got two Mustangs at home and I'm picking up a burrow today. Um, I've had domestic horses, I have a quarter horse at home, but the mind and like the spirit of these animals is so amazing that, you know, you can't really compete with it. We are here to uh, pick up two Mustangs that we have adopted and take them back to their home in Cold Creek. Uh, there'll be some, uh, uh, a lot of training to do and we're, we look forward to the process, enjoy the process, uh, the bonding through the training and um, we ride in the mountains, do a lot of trail riding, so that's really, they hopefully will feel like they're more or less back home and doing what they used to do, just in a little bit more domesticated manner, I suppose. I love them all, but yes, I, I do have a, a couple that that we've definitely fallen in love with even more. I like number 13 and 33, and the babies. This one is over here. Talk to people. Talk to people who have adopted. Um, come to events like this one and learn. Um, that, that's the best thing that you can do. Some of our best adopters, most successful adopters, are people who've never owned a horse before because they don't have any preconceived notions on how it should go. And um, you learn almost as much from the horses as they learn from you. My, my little Mustang that's broke right now is, can do almost anything. We've taught him to lay down, he cuts cows, he can trail ride with the best of them, um, he knows reining. He basically just is an all around horse and competes with, you know, all the quarter horses that people spend thousands of dollars on. <laughs> I spent 125 bucks just to pick them up. You develop a love for these wild horses and it, it gets in your blood. Adopt a horse or burrow, they're amazing. I wouldn't do it any other way.